फॉल सेवन टाइम्स स्टैंड अप एट नमस्कार वेलकम टू पीटी पॉइंटर्स एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी विल कवर मेजर हेडलाइंस ऑफ द हिंदू इंडियन एक्सप्रेस एंड प्रेस इंफॉर्मेशन ब्यूरो सो विदाउट वेस्टिंग एनी टाइम लेट स्टार्ट टू डेज डिस्कशन एंड आर फर्स्ट हेडलाइन इज रिलेटेड टू मोहिनी अट्टम विच इज अ क्लासिकल डांस फॉर्म ऑफ केरला इन साउथ इंडिया इट इज अ ग्रेसफुल डांस टू वॉच एंड इज अ सोलो रिसाइटल बाय वुमेन बट नाउ बॉयज कैन लर्न मोहिनी अट्टम एट कला मंडलम यूनिवर्सिटी आर नेक्स्ट हेडलाइन इज रिलेटेड टू रोहिंग्या रिफ्यूजीज विच आर मुस्लिम माइनॉरिटी एथनिक ग्रुप विद देयर रूट्स इन द अराकरन किंगडम इन म्यांमार फॉर्मली नोन एज बर्मा दे आर कल्चरली एंड रिलीजियसली डिस्टिंग फ्रॉम द मेजोरिटी बुद्धिस्ट पॉपुलेशन इन म्यांमार एंड दे क्लेम टू हैव लिव्ड इन म्यांमार्स राखाइन स्टेट फॉर जनरेशन बट सक्सेसिव गवर्नमेंट इन द कंट्री हैव डिस्प्यूटेड देयर टाइस लेबलिंग दम इलीगल इमिग्रेंट्स फ्रॉम Bangladesh and Myanmar has refused to recognize them denying them citizenship since 1982 thus making them world's largest stateless population devoid of fundamental rights and security their largest exodus began in August 2017 and United Nations has described the 2017 violence as ethnic cleansing and now Rohingyas have been undertaking dangerous journeys across the Bay of Bengal and Andaman Sea to Muslim majority nations of Indonesia and Malaysia are next Next headline is related to G20 Employment Working Group, which aims to address labour, employment, and social issues for strong, sustainable, balanced, and job-rich growth for all. India is co-chairing the second Employment Working Group meeting along with Brazil and South Africa, and it focuses on creating quality employment and promoting decent labour, addressing a just transition amidst digital and energy transformations, leveraging technologies to enhance quality of life for all, and the emphasis on. gender equity and promoting diversity in the world of employment for inclusivity driving innovation and growth our next headline is related to lokpal of india and it is in the news because recently justice rituraj avasthi sworn in as judicial member in lokpal now let's know more about lokpal so friends it is the first institution of its kind in independent india and it is established under lokpal and lokayukt act 2013 it aims to inquire and investigate into allegations of corruption against public functionaries now let's know about the jurisdiction of lokpal so friends lokpal has jurisdiction to inquire into allegations of corruption against anyone who is or has been prime minister or a minister in the union government or a member of parliament as well as officials of the union government under groups a b c and d it also covers chairpersons members officers and directors of any board corporation society trust or autonomous body either established by an act of parliament or wholly or partially funded by the union or state government it also covers any society or trust or body that receives foreign contribution above 10 lakh rupees lokpal have powers of superintendence and direction over any central investigation agency including cbi and do you know friends lokpal is vested with the power of search and seizure and also have powers under the civil procedure code for the purpose of conducting preliminary inquiry and investigation and power of attachment of assets and taking other steps for eradication of corruption our next headline is related to garba dance which is a popular dance of gujarat it is performed during the occasion of navratri festival and both men and women take part in the dance here dancer move around the center in a counter clockwise circle using simple movements while singing and clapping their hands our next headline is related to national investigation agency which is functioning as the central counter terrorism law enforcement agency in india it was constituted in the wake of 2611 mumbai terror attacks in november 2008 and it started functioning in 2009 it is a central agency mandated to investigate all offenses affecting the sovereignty security and integrity of india friendly relations with foreign states and the offenses under the statutory laws enacted to implement international treaties agreements conventions and resolutions of the united nations its agencies and other international organizations these include terror acts and their possible links with crimes like smuggling of arms drugs and fake indian currency infiltration from across the borders the agency has the power to search seize arrest and prosecute those involved in such offenses and do you know friends an ia act was amended in the year 2019 
to enlarge the mandate of NIA by inclusion of offenses related to human trafficking, manufacturing or sale of prohibited arms, cyber terrorism and offenses under the Explosive Substances Act 1908 and expanded its jurisdiction beyond India. And now it is in the news because 1990 batch IPS officer Dr. Sadanand Date appointed as the head of the National Investigation Agency. Our next headline is related to MG Narega and it is in the news because recently government notified revised wages under the Mahatma Gandhi National Rural Employment Guarantee Scheme with Goa seeing the maximum hike of 10.56% and Uttar Pradesh and Uttarakhand recorded the lowest raise of 3.04%. At present, Haryana continues to offer the best wages at 374 per day and Uttar Pradesh at 237 has one of the lowest wages. And do you know friends, MG Narega is a demand-driven scheme which provides at least 100 days of guaranteed wage employment in every financial year to every household whose adult members volunteer to do unskilled manual work. Our next headline is related to India TB Report 2024 which was recently released by Union Health Ministry and according to it, gap between estimated number of and actual cases of tuberculosis is closing. There were only 2.3 lakh missing cases in 2023 as compared to 3.2 lakh the year before. And do you know friends, TB is an infectious disease. It is caused by bacteria which is named as Mycobacterium tuberculosis and it most often affects the lungs. It spreads through the air when infected people cough, sneeze or spit. Our next headline is related to T plus zero settlement cycle. It means the transfer of securities and funds will happen on the same day of the trade. This will run parallel to the existing T plus one settlement cycle in equity cash market. The shorter settlement cycle helps increase liquidity in the market and lower risk and market analysts believe the T plus zero settlement cycle would enhance the efficiency of market operations and help freeing funds in the market. And it is in the news because recently Bombay Stock Exchange has named 25 stocks eligible for the T plus zero settlement cycle. Our next and last headline is related to India Employment Report 2024, which was recently released by International Labour Organization and the Institute of Human Development. And according to it, India's youth account for almost 83% of the unemployed workforce and the share of youngsters with secondary or higher education in the total unemployed youth has almost doubled from 35.2% in 2000 to 65.7% in 2022. Women largely account for the increase in self-employment and unpaid family work. So with this, let's conclude our today's discussion. Thanks for listening and for regular updates, you can follow us on various social media platforms.